What's up everyone, my name is Guillaume, welcome to Thurman's Guitars and Basses. Today we're going to have a look at Stompenberg, the tool that allows you to try actual pedals from home. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today. Before we get started with the video, please take a second to subscribe to the channel if you like that kind of content. On today's menu, we're going to have a look at Stompenberg. Stompenberg is a tool on the Toman website that allows you to try actual physical stomp boxes from home. It's kind of magical and we're going to go through exactly how it works, how you can make it work to try these pedals and why you could benefit a lot from it. All right, guys, let's jump onto the computer screen. And uh, I'm guessing the first step is going to be finding Stompenberg. So to do that, you want to go on Guitars and Basses right here, then scroll down to Guitar and Bass Effects, and then all the way down to Try Effects Live. Start the Stompenberg. This is it. Let's go. And this is your main interface. This is the main page. You already have a lot of pedals on there, uh, many, many pages as well. Uh, before we dive into exactly how you guys can use it, uh, let's talk about exactly how it works, because we have some, some pictures up there that are pretty descriptive. You can see the pedal, the enclosure. This is a Harley Benton delay. And all the pots and switches have been replaced by these cables, these small interfaces right there. And these are going here. Uh, these are the actual interfaces, so they, these translate the signal from your computer into signal that the pedal understands and allows you to manipulate the switches and the knobs on the pedals from your computer. This is just absolutely insane. Uh, here is a uh, gentleman at Terman working on what looks like an MXR carbon copy. Yeah, that's. I think that's it. And yeah, fridges full of, of pedals. You see it, like the the pedals, like the pedal PCBs being hooked up to these interfaces, some Harley Benton, some TC stuff. Um, and yeah, that's that's what allows you to to manipulate uh, the <laughs> the effects. Uh, and there you go. That's that's for that's what allows your signal to be sent all the way to Germany, sent through the pedal and then sent back to you. More on that in a second. Let's uh, let's find a pedal, shall we? If you're lucky, you, you the pedal you're looking for might already be there. I'm gonna use the search engine. I'm gonna go with some mm, some Keeley. I like I like Keeley. I like Robert Keeley and I like his pedals. And I'm gonna go with the Caverns Delay Reverb V2 because I am really really familiar with that pedal. I've been using it a ton on um, Hit the Tone. If you're not familiar with that, shameless plug. I'm taking a bunch of gear trying to recreate famous guitar sounds and teach you how to play the riffs. So I'll link it somewhere. Uh, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. And let's click on it. Here is our Keeley Caverns delay and reverb. All right, and here is your main interface. Uh, we're going to go through all the different options that you have up there. The first one being play. Um, and what that means is that you have a bunch of guitar and bass guitar DI recorded signals, small uh, tracks of just the guitar into an interface or the bass into an interface. And you can play these through the effect of your choosing. You also want to pay attention to the uh, that corner right there with the speaker simulation because if any of you guys have tried to put a distortion pedal through nothing and you 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 all know that it's not it's not an enjoyable sound so that is a really really cool addition right there you can either upload your own irs if you already have some that you're familiar with and that you like using and if not you can choose one of the celestian irs that are pre-charged on there and here's some greenback i like greenback i'm gonna go with that one and all right, let's turn let's turn the pedal off first and play that first uh, blues sample. Okay, that's just to give you an idea of what kind of guitar signal is recorded. Now let's turn on that pedal and play it again.
So as you saw up there, you can absolutely tweak anything on that pedal, which is really, really cool. And I think really useful for the people among you who don't really know how to hook up your guitar to an interface or don't have an audio interface, you still have an option to listen to that pedal and see what knob does what thanks to that option. So really cool. Also worth noting is that if you already have riffs recorded on your computer, you can upload them here using that upload riff uh, section and put them through the effect. Now they would have to be DI recordings. You can't have something that's already going through an amp and effects otherwise it's just gonna be super mushy. But if you have any sort of DI recording, you can absolutely use them as well, which is awesome. All right, let's go back to Stompenberg and try another pedal because why not? And I want to try some gain stuff. Let's take a classic, um, like a boss pedal. Boss is everywhere anyways. And let's try with the BD2 Blues Driver. I think that's a pedal that most people are already familiar with. So let's go with that one. really cool. Now let's try the second mode which is right up there and it's called Rec, short for recording and that mode basically allows you to record your actual bass or guitar uh, in there, put like a little sample of your own playing and play it through the effect. Now in my opinion that is the best option on there because it's going to be your instrument, your pickups, your touch and obviously the pedal is going to respond differently to all of that. So I think that's probably the closest representation of what the effect would do for you. On that note, let's record something and play it through the effect. Let's try with another pedal because why not? Uh, and this time I want to go with uh, Fender stuff. There's that one that I haven't played yet and I really want to play. There we go, MTG Tube Distortion. I've heard some good things about this one, so I want to give that a go. Uh, while it's establishing, oh, okay, that was fast. <laughs> um, I just want to say that you might want to try a pedal at the same time as someone else is already trying it. And because your signal is going directly into the effect, uh, then the website is going to create a queue basically and tell you that you have to wait, I think it's two minutes or three minutes, something like that, uh, to try the actual effect, obviously, because someone's on it already. With that said, let's record something else and play it through the Fender MTG Tube Distortion. I'm kind of really digging that, to be honest. <laughs> um, and again, I think that's definitely the best option that we have because it's so easy to just like play something for 10 seconds, leave it on a loop, and then, you know, keep tweaking the pedals in. It's, it's just really, really nice. Uh, and that leads us to the third option that we've got uh, going into Stompenberg, and that is right here, live. Um, now, 
live, in my opinion, is at the moment not useful and not usable. I'm going to tell you why. I think I'm, I'm really happy that it's here because I do think that it has the potential to become the best tool within Stompenberg. Uh, but as you can read on the screen right now, this sound is then sent to the real pedal and back to you with a maximum of 200 milliseconds in delay. So that means you're playing through your interface just like the previous recording mode, uh, but it's going directly through the pedal and coming back to you directly or almost directly. And if you don't know what that is, 200 milliseconds is actually quite a long time when we talk about sound and delay. So you're going to play and then wait and then the sound, go, affected sound is going to come back to you with a delay and me, it just throws me off completely. So I know the guys are working really, really hard within the bounds of what's physically possible as well, you know, because you're sending a signal from wherever in the world it has to be translated, sent to the pedal then sent back to you. It's like a lot going on and technologically, you know, we have limitations too. Uh, but I know they're working really hard to, to improve that. And that's why I'm glad that it's here because I do believe that within a few months or maybe a year or something, uh, this is going to be such, such a useful mode too. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing that. With all of that said, I think that's it, guys. Uh, I hope that video was useful. I hope that if you didn't know about Stompenberg, well, now you do. And you're going to be able to play a ton of different pedals and, yeah, just have fun. Um, if you have any more questions about the tool, please do put them in the comment section down below while you're going there to like the video, obviously. I'll be down there and I'll answer as much as I can. Um, in the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic time. Stay safe, keep making music, and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.